Welcome to Electron Online. In the previous video, we used Bayes' rule to figure out a medical test problem. The problem was that there were 10,000 patients that had a tumor. There was a test that they conducted on each of those 10,000 patients. And of those 10,000 patients, there were 1,570 that tested positive and 8,430 that tested negative. But we knew from previous experience that 1% of these types of tumors are malignant. They contain cancer. And so we knew there were 100 patients that had cancer, and we figured out there were 85 that had cancer that tested positive, and 15 that tested negative even though they had cancer. In the previous video, we calculated the probability of a patient having cancer if the test was positive. So in this case, we're going, to we're going to figure out the probability that the patient has cancer if the test is negative because we realize we're going to miss some. So we had a 5.4% probability that if you tested positive that you had cancer. But what if you test negative? What is the probability that you have cancer even though you test negative? And that's what we're going to figure now. We're going to use the same formula for Bayes' rule that the probability that A will occur in case that B has already occurred is equal to the probability that B will occur given that A has occurred times the probability of A divided by the probability of B. And remember the denominator is the sum of all the ways in which we can get the probability of B. So we're going to now convert that to the probability that the patient has cancer if they test it negative. And so we're going to plug in the numbers here and see what we get. So the probability that the patient tests negative if the patient has cancer. And so here we have 100 patients that have cancer and 15 that will test negative even though they have cancer. So that will be 15 out of 100 times the probability that the patient has cancer from the general population with tumors and that's 1% or 100 out of 10,000. So that goes in the numerator. In the denominator, we'll repeat the same thing because this is exactly the same as that. So we have 15 out of 100 that have cancer but tested negative times the probability of having cancer out of the 10,000 patients. Plus the probability of the patient having cancer, oh, sorry, here, the probability of the test being negative if we know that the patient does not have cancer. So let's go over here. So the patient does not have cancer. So 8415 out of 9900 patients will test negative if they don't have cancer. So that is 8415 divided by 9900. And we multiply the times the probability of not having cancer. That would be 9900 over 10,000. 9900 over 10,000. All right, so now we need to calculate that probability. We can simplify some things, so the hundreds cancel out. Here the hundreds cancel out, the 9900 cancel out. So in the denominator, what do we get? We get 15 divided by 10,000 plus 8415 divided by 10,000 equals, okay, so that gives us 0 0.843 in the denominator. So that gives us 0 0.843 in the denominator. And in the numerator, we get 15 over 10,000. Oop, 10,000. Equals. So bring that to the numerator. Multiply times 15 divided by 10,000. Equals. And we get 0.178% probability that you have cancer even though you tested negative. So that's a pretty decent test. So what that means is that there's a certain number of people, 15, that will test negative even though they have cancer. But if you took the test and you tested negative, then the chance of having cancer is very, very small. You may want to take the test a second time just to make sure, and you will see later that if you take multiple tests of the same thing, you'll get a better and better probability that you'll have a misdiagnosis because of the test. So, in the previous video, we found 5.4% of all patients that tested positive did indeed have cancer, and those that test negative, 0.178% don't have cancer, or, I'm sorry, 
0.178% do have cancer even though they tested negative. Now, in the next video, we'll show you how that all makes sense. So stay tuned and we'll have an interesting video for you lined up on the next one.